Welcome back to the garage. It's a nice morning. I'm on vacation. So I figured I'd take the Jeep out for a drive to the local park where I've been walking every day. And um, it's going to be a good kind of a shakedown run, I guess. Uh, because it's probably about a 12 mile round trip. And I've never really gone that far in the Jeep. So we'll see how this goes. And this is just part of my process of getting um, you know, more trust and uh, confidence in the way it's currently set up. Um, if I'll go as well, it's just one step closer to feeling confident and taking it off-road. So, let's go for a drive. like a race car. It's so weird.
we made it. Nice local park. It drove pretty well. That was about, that was a little longer than I thought it was. Um, the Honda says it's about a 12, 13 mile round trip. So the speedometer on this thing is wrong. Uh, when using a GPS based one, it said I was going um, right around 35 when this thing was saying 45. So that's something fun to keep in mind. But I'm going to go walk for a bit. Jeep just looks so, so tiny. There we go. That's familiar. Usually I park all the way on the other side of that bridge, walk across the bridge, and then go the long way around to over there. It's kind of where I parked. Nice to take the scenic route. Kind of nice to go exploring. Had no idea any of this was over here. Can you see anything? Nope. Well, you couldn't see much through that anyways because it's so dirty, but yeah, this is Two Rivers Park. We have the Little Maumelle River kind of off to the side and then off that way around that little kind of peninsula is the Arkansas River. Then out in the distance, who knows if this will zoom, the Two Rivers Bridge, which is the little pedestrian section with the trusses, the Interstate 430 Bridge over the Arkansas River, and even further behind it, they call that the Big Dam Bridge because it goes over the dam. And that's actually a very long pedestrian bridge that people can walk over as well. I've done that one many times. Well, 1.3 miles is a little bit low compared to the uh, four plus miles I've been doing every day this week so far, but it's something. I probably should take a little bit of a rest day. Let's see about heading back though. Well, Arkansas is called the natural state. And there's a reason for that. There's so many things to do outdoors, so many state parks, so many trails. From here at Two Rivers Park, you can actually walk or ride a bike all the way to downtown Little Rock or all the way, a few miles that way, to uh, Pinnacle Mountain State Park. I've climbed Pinnacle a couple times in my life. Last time nearly killed me. I could go climb that this week, perhaps, try again. Redemption Arc. But generally speaking, historically I have not taken advantage of all of the the things to do outside. The humidity is usually pretty miserable, but lately it's been nice. And kind of, I don't know, maybe a stepping stone to taking the Jeep out to more places like this. Places where you can actually drive off-road, maybe. I'm actually having to consult a map. It's not that complicated of a park, but I've never been out here before. I think I'll go this way, because that way is the way I came, and this one should end up back in roughly the same area. Went to deer way out there in the distance, and that is the aforementioned Pinnacle Mountain. I've stood up there at the top, and like I said before, nearly killed me to get up there. For the locals who have probably been around Pinnacle Mountain before, you know there's an easy side and a hard side. West side is easy, east side is the hard way, and there's also a base trail that goes around the whole thing. Well, hot girls make guys do very stupid things. Uh, probably a decade ago at this point, uh, a friend of mine who was in much better shape uh, asked if I wanted to go up there and I figured we'd do the east summit but uh she wanted to do the west summit so we parked on the west side uh I used up all my water on the way up the west side 
And then, she didn't tell me this at the time, but her plan was to go up the west side, down the east side, and then back around the base trail. I nearly died on the way up. I nearly died again on the way down. Fortunately, some kind soul uh, gave me some water. And then I refilled at a fountain. And then we started walking the base trail back to where we parked. And I was pretty damn close to a heat stroke. Or maybe I actually had one because I was pretty delirious on the way back. I had to stop at a gas station for a Gatorade. And I haven't been back since. But maybe this week. I've just realized that I forgot sunscreen. It was sitting on the counter. I forgot to grab it. Oops. I'm gonna be a little bit toasty when I get home. Yep, right where I left it. Well, that was a fun little workout. But uh, the cool days we were having have run out. I am so thankful to have this summer top because it'd be pretty miserable, but Time to go ahead and head back to the house.
Well, the GoPro died on the way back. I don't know if the battery ran down or it just overheated, but the Jeep performed well. No fuel leaks, no major mishaps. I did stall it uh, one time, oops. Uh, but overall it did well. The rear axle is so unhappy. I hope you guys were able to hear on that GoPro mic that horrible growling, grinding noise when coasting in third gear. It's just got way too much backlash and that's probably because those bearings are kind of shot. So I really need to get back to focusing on that rear axle swap. It's been sitting here in the garage for a couple months now, ready to go. Um, I just got to figure out an order of operations and get that done. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.